There we go. So let's let's do it for this. You gonna lock me on white? Uh, I'll lock you on white. Okay. Okay. So let's go. And that's fine. Oh, and just keep it unlocked. Keep it unlocked. Keep it unlocked. Okay. Here we go. Right there. Yeah. Or thereabouts. Okay. So, uh, and that's because like, between 35 and 40, I, I wasn't yeah, actually that's right. uh, ironically paying attention to these things, but that's because I'm doing a demo. Um, but uh, the neat thing about this is that there's this one-to-one this -one mapping. So in, on, on our prototype, the mapping might not be uh, exact just because um, you know it was two days. But um, basically, <coughs> underneath is, is a grid. And so you can get this tactile representation of uh, where you are in position to the data, and then start exploring the rest of the uh, the data as well. Do you want to do trends real quick too? Yeah. So, so you want to do a trend line? Yeah. So okay. so two major aspects of, of, of graph literacy are point estimation and trend analysis. And we've shown some point estimation. We'll just show a little bit of differences between this and uh, some data from the from the uh, the athletic ability that looks a lot different than this. And you hear some differences. Do you want to plug in X this time? Yeah, uh, just keep going. Uh, yeah, you want to just shift over. Yeah, you want to shift over to X okay. because of our trends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, so yeah. you want to switch up mics or? Um, no, we'll just okay. I'll just follow oh. Okay, so here we go, and okay. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go back to the, the, the yep. zero, zero here. Okay, so now I'm gonna start moving uh, right uh, along the X axis. Do, 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 do. And so, as you can see, we're getting different tones. Like, there's a low point right there in the graph. Let's keep going. Uh, you know, there was a, there was a high point followed by a, by a low. I mean, this is like a you know. And then we can so we can start getting a sense of the data. And because the pitches are mapped across octave boundaries, we can actually get a really clear differentiation between where the different points are. Um, and so. Like there was another low, there's a high. We can keep going to the right here, and we can see some, you know, a little bit of clustering, and then, uh, you know, followed by, like right now we're on a high note, for example. So we're on a high part of the graph, and so it's a it's a map it's a one to one mapping um, uh, to 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 pitch. So you can not only tell you can not only estimate your specific point, but you can start running it on the entire data set. And this obviously since it's data back, the data can change dynamically every single minute through the exhibit, and the display can keep up with that. Should we uh, go to the next one? Yeah. Okay, great. Just do another uh, typograph so you can hear the difference. Just pass it over real quick. You want me to zero you out? Yeah, just zero out. 